I've got a $200,000 budget. I'm looking for a high quality, low risk investment property. Roger from Maryland, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. That man behind the scenes is Tommy, documenting everything for you. And what we got today. Today's going to be a pretty cool show. Uh, today we are looking on the MLS for my client, Roger. Roger, you are from Maryland, and uh, you've been a big fan of Holton Wise TV. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate the love, my man. Uh you actually used to live in the Cleveland market uh, 15 years or so ago, and uh, now you're working and living in Maryland, but you want to invest back home because the cash flow numbers are great. Makes sense. Um, <clears throat> you got a, uh, uh, a relatively uh, simple, not necessarily incredibly easy, but more or less very simple uh, want list here, so I like that. Uh, your situation, you're pre-approved for a loan of $200,000. You've got up to $80,000 to play with. This will be your first rental back here in Cleveland. Uh, you're looking for B or C, but you're not really interested in uh, C class, or you're not really interested in Section 8. And I got the impression from you that you would prefer to be more in the B class. You know, you said you're willing to go up to $200,000. And if you wanted to, you could probably uh, talk to your lender and actually get that a little higher. So I took that to mean you're really looking for. Um, you know, something more high quality. Like if you're not really interested in going the Section 8 route, like at all, I would say you definitely want to look into B-class neighborhoods, right? Because C-class neighborhoods, it's very common to have Section 8. And, you know, a lot of people think that like a Section 8 tenant is like inherently different than a regular cash paying tenant. That's it's not necessarily like when you're like grading the quality of tenants or tenants that you can expect, It's it's really like the neighborhood uh, is going to determine the tenants more than whether they're Section 8 or cash paying, right? So, like, you know, the type of tenants that you're going to get in a C-class neighborhood are going to be, you know, a little bit different than the type of tenants you're going to get in a B-class neighborhood. So, like, if I have a cash paying C-class tenant or a Section 8 C-class tenant, they are going to be much more similar than a cash paying C class tenant would be to a cash paying B class tenant or a cash paying C class tenant would be to like a section eight B class tenant. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so with all that in mind, I want to bring your attention to the screen here, show you what I found for you. This property, 1671 Glenmont Road, Cleveland Heights, Ohio, 44118. Uh, listed by a realtor over at a Keller Williams brokerage. The list price is $150,000. Uh, I got the photos up on the screen here. Let's make this a little bit bigger for you, as big as possible here, so you guys can see. <clears throat> All right. And this thing was renovated, you know, just a beautiful renovated property. Just scroll through the photos. Now, it's completely occupied. So they, they uh, you know, the owner, they purchased it, they renovated it, and then they took all the photos for the MLS listing, and then they placed tenants in there. So it appears that it's empty, but it is not. It's 100% occupied. This thing is just fresh, ready to rock and roll for you. So we're not going to have to deal with any type of, uh, you know, upfront costs, which is something I really like. I like this bathroom a lot. Like, this is just like a very nice, modern you know, modern vanity, good choice out of them. That's what you want. That's what your tenants want. That's how you keep long-term tenants, guys. Let's uh, read what the agent wrote. <clears throat> Investors, turnkey double-digit cap rate. I ran the numbers. There is not a double-digit cap rate, just so you know, right? That's why these uh, investment analysis 
That's why you guys pay for these. That's why you get these, right? Because a lot of you know agents out here in the Cleveland market, we got like 5,000 of them. You know, they're not necessarily uh, used to working with investors. So I'm not sure what numbers this realtor ran, but I will show you my numbers uh, in a little bit. And we are not at a double digit cap rate. Uh, let's start over. Investors, turnkey double digit cap rate, fully rented multifamily home is a cash flowing machine. So many updates located less than 10 to 15 minutes to downtown Case Western Reserve University, Cleveland Clinic, hospitals and university circle. Amazing opportunity. Just collect rents, remodeled kitchens and bathrooms, freshly painted interior with newer window treatments, rebuilt the front porch. Updates include newer furnaces, driveway, garage doors, lighting, gas block windows, flooring, back porch. Great opportunity. Will, uh, will transfer point of sale compliant tenant occupied. So the home is beautiful. And where I also agree with the, the, the listing agent here is the location. This is a very, very nice uh, area in Cleveland Heights. And I actually want to bring your attention to the comps really quick. All right. So I ran the comps and uh, two comps that I really want to bring your attention to. Now, when I do comps, I like to do quarter mile comps. Uh, over the last six months, and we had four total multifamilies that sold. If we broke that out to half-mile comps, there was like 30 or 40. But two that I really want to bring to your attention. The first one is this one, 1641 Glenmont Road. Now, this is literally right down the street. This was listed. All right, can you guys see that on the screen? Yes. Yes, you get Look, guys, this thing was listed for 79900 and it sold for 101000 288 so like $21,000 over list price right down the street okay and as you'll see here this thing is just beat to holy hell dude this is just like uh just just beat to shit outdated electric panels this is uh this is what you got right little little action there all right just you know in need of a reno okay just total gross, grody, outdated kitchen. Let's go back to that. Look, see how this is nasty-ass kitchen right here? You need to add a shower right there. You know, just this thing is just totally beat, right? And it had a huge bidding war because the neighborhood, right? This neighborhood is where the value is driven. All right? So you can see that one is all beat. Now, if you go to the next one, one hundred sixty six thousand five hundred dollars okay that's very very close to what they listed it at 169 is what they listed it closed at 166.5 all right and this is a very nice property okay going through the photos here you know nice you know fresh renovation it's not like uh like super super extreme high end but you know it's just updated like you got updated electric panels uh, newer furnaces, decent looking hot water tanks, and it's just, you know, a good condition. And the value here is being brought up by the neighborhood. So like the rents in this particular property, each of those units was three bed, one bath, and our rents, $1,000 a month, nine sixty a month. So that's the type of rents you could expect in a nice neighborhood like this. So as far as this property, what do we have going on here, Roger? We got... One unit, which is a four bed, one bath, rented at 800. Another unit is a two bed, one bath, rented at 800. So we're bringing in a total of 1600 or 19,200 for the year. Now, this is important to note. I think that two bed, one bath, that's more or less pretty close uh, to market. I would say we could, at, you know, at the very most, we could possibly. Uh, we could possibly get that up to a market rent of like eight fifty, but like we're we're pushing it, right? Eight eight fifty is where that should be. However, the four bedroom, they under rented that one in my opinion. They 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 missed the ball there, right? They're renting their two bedroom for eight hundred. What were they thinking renting their uh, four bedroom for the same price? They should be getting one thousand, if not eleven hundred dollars for that. So that's going to be important. That's you know going to be very important for you know why I targeted this property for you. Now, the list price, it's $150,000. As far as total renovations needed, like upfront costs, do you need to put any money in this? Absolutely not. This thing's 100% rent ready. They're going to give it to you a point of sale clear. Okay, what that means in Cleveland Heights, it's one of those cities in the Cleveland market that requires a point of sale inspection. So like uh, 
The city's going to come in, and they're going to inspect. They're going to look for things like peeling paint, cracked sidewalk blocks, driveways, stuff like that, right? And uh, the city's going to issue violations. The seller legally has to correct all of those prior to title transfer or they need to have the buyer assume that. And if you're the buyer, you assume it. That means you've got to put money into escrow, close on the property, pay your contractor separately, not from the money in escrow. Then when those repairs are all completed, the city will come back out, inspect them, and then and only then can you get your money back. And if you don't do this in the proper time period, you could face building code violations. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, but we don't have to worry about that here. They already renovated this thing. They're bringing it to you POS clear. So all you need, 150000 now, I ran the numbers for the property uh, just so you could see what type of money you're going to make off of this, off of the current numbers, and then I adjusted some things a little bit. So I just want to quickly run through the current numbers with you to show you that it, as it sits right now, it stands. It doesn't hit your goals as it sits currently, but it could and it should. So there's a little opportunity here. <clears throat> so the rent, 1600 Repairs, vacancy, and CapEx. I put the, all, all of that at 80 bucks a month. These are all just estimates. Right, we cannot factor in exactly when you're going to need to do your repairs. It's not like you're going to spend 80 bucks every month. It's a lot of nothing, and then like a big repair, vacancy, and not payment of rent. You know, every once in a while, people are not going to pay. You're going to have to evict people, or when units are vacant, uh, it's going to take some time to get them reoccupied. So we're going to calculate. We're going to save $960 a month for when those repairs, or $960 a year rather for when those repairs do come. We're going to save $960 a year for when those vacancies come. Now, just so you know, like if you haven't already seen it, I'm sure you probably have, Roger, but if, if you haven't or anyone else who's watching this that hasn't, check out the uh, the Tenants from Hell show we have here on Holton Wise TV. If you want to see some crazy shit, some crazy shit that happens to landlords, man, you guys got to watch that show. I'll put a couple episodes in the show notes below so you guys can take a look. Like evictions, we show you all the nasty stuff that happens to landlords. The cool thing about this particular property and this particular particular neighborhood though it's a very high-end neighborhood it's like one of the nicer uh <clears throat> nicer more um uh, what's the word i'm looking for uh more desirable uh parts of cleveland heights right so you know cleveland heights is a pretty big suburb and some of some of cleveland heights does kind of border some rougher areas this is like in the nicer part so you're getting like a a high quality tenant so your odds of appearing on the tenants from hell show are very low so even though we're factoring in the vacancy, the non-paying, all that stuff. Note that you have a fairly safe investment, and I don't anticipate you running into a lot of issues. And it really sounded like, you know, from your apprehension of wanting to deal with Section 8, uh, it really sounded to me that that's what you were looking for. You were looking for stability in your portfolio. You know, you weren't necessarily interested in, like, you know, you want to hit your 10% cash on cash, but if, if I had to guess, uh, based on, like, the messages you've sent me, I just assume that, uh, you know, in exchange for a point or two here or there, uh, you would be more interested in a safe, stable investment that you don't have to worry about or you don't have to lose sleep over. So that's why I picked this one. Uh, back to the chart here, back to the numbers, CapEx, 80 bucks a month we're going to factor. So you're going to save another 960 a year. And that's for your furnaces. That's for your roof, right? Okay, those furnaces are going to last about 30 years. When you have to replace them, you're looking at about three grand a piece. A roof, this is a big old duplex. You're probably looking at like around seven grand uh, for a roof. Hot water tanks, you got to have two of those, of course. You're looking at about a grand. So you got to factor that stuff in. As you own this property, you're going to own this property. If you own this property for 30 years, over that 30-year time period, you're going to be replacing furnaces, two furnaces twice. So you're going to spend $4,000 on furnaces. You're going to spend $6,000, or I'm sorry, $4,000 on hot water tanks because you're going to place those twice. So two hot water tanks, each going to be replaced twice over a 30-year period. That's four grand. You're going to replace the furnaces at least once, so that's six grand. And then you're going to spend about seven grand uh, on that roof. So big ticket items, right? So we're going to be saving 960 a year to cover all of that stuff. Uh, taxes, 291 a month. Insurance, 100 bucks a month. Uh, in the show notes below, go ahead and click the link to our insurance company, the Hogue Insurance Agency. My associate, Kevin, he'll take care of you. He'll get you a quote. We should uh, be in around 100 bucks a month for this. You know, we're an inf investor focused insurance company, right? Like, we're not trying to sell you stuff. 
uh, like riders that your normal insurance agents would. We understand who our core customer is, and that's it's all we do. All I sell is investment real estate to investors uh, when I'm selling regular real estate, right? So, like, you don't see me driving, you know, people around in, in my car, like, families, like, showing them nice homes they're going to live in. Like, I don't do the, like, the mom, dad, two and a half kids, dog, white picket fence. I don't do that kind of real estate. I sell you know, I sell money, I sell rental assets. So all my businesses are like that. So my insurance business, same thing. We're not trying to insure the happy family. We are insuring investors. So we understand you care about one thing and one thing only, and that's cash flow. So what we do, we shop around the bid to other uh, insurance providers, and we get you the lowest rate. So I think we should be able to knock this out at 100. So again, in the show notes below, click that. Kevin will take care of you. Water and sewer. We should be looking at about 150 bucks uh, a month, 75 per unit. Uh, that could be a little, you know, might go a little higher if you ever move in like a larger family into that four bedroom unit. But, you know, it's really tough to narrow down exactly how much water and sewer is going to cost just because it's such a variable expense, man. Uh, you know, like <clears throat> water and sewer, you know, the same tenant could sp like spend different amounts of water and sewer, uh, you know, throughout the year, right? Like in the summer. You know, you got kids playing, sports, a lot more showers. So, like, that's hard to pin down, but I think that's a fair estimate. But some months will be higher, some will be lower. Some tenants are going to run you an average that's lower. Some are going to run you an average that's higher. Uh, lawn care, that's an easy one, though. 44 a month. Uh, in the Cleveland market, you know, you know you know the weather out here, Roger. You used to live here, but 16 to 18 times per year. That's how much we're going to cut your grass, okay? It's like 33 a cut, so that averages out to about 528 a year, so 44 bucks. And then property management, we're bringing in 1600 bucks a month in rent, so we're going to charge you 10% of that, so 160 So all told, right now, as it stands, you're supposed to be bringing in $1,600 a month, and you should be spending, just to operate this property, nine eighty four. So that brings you a net operating income of $615 a month, or $7,381 a year on average. That's an average, okay? This information, it's not meant for you to think that you should and will make $615 12 months a year for the rest of your life. Some months will be much better. Some will be worse, all right? This is the type of expectation you should have. And I have uh, given you these numbers based on my experience managing thousands of properties, thousands of tenants in this market. But by no means should you take this, like put this in your spreadsheet and expect this exact amount every month. This is a people business. At all times, there's an unlimited amount of variables. Uh, but more or less, if you had like a large portfolio, if you had like maybe like 10 properties and they were all this property, it should average out, in my opinion, over the course of the long haul to be very, very, very close to this. Now, we're going to quickly go to a commercial break. You guys are going to hear a word from the sponsor of today's show. And then I'm going to get back in, uh, hammer out the rest of the numbers on this deal. We're going to get into the cash on cash return. We're going to get into the cap rate and how it's not exactly a double digit return like the listing agent said. And then we're going to finish it off with a bidding strategy on this property. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. All right, Roger, welcome back, man. As promised, we're going to get into the, the numbers, the details, uh, and we're going to break this all down. So pulling up the chart, total investment, $150,000, because you do not need to put any money into this. Our NOI should average out to six fifteen dollars a month or 7381 a year. Now, 
That's my numbers. I don't know what estimate that the listing agent did to get a double-digit cap. You know, perhaps they didn't include all of the actual expenses and expenses that are variable. You know, sometimes these folks, they just like, you know, they'll take the gross rents and they'll just call, you know, divide that by the acquisition cost, call that the cap rate. That's not how you do it. You got to break down the actual real expenses, which I've done for you. So that's going to give us a cap rate of 4.92. Now, going even further, because I know you want to finance this asset. You know, standard 30-year mortgage here, you're looking at 25% down. So your down payment is going to be 37500 That's going to leave you with a $112,500 mortgage. Your mortgage payment is going to be five seventy a month. So after you spend all of the money to operate this every month and you put some extra money away in preparation for those vacancies, in preparation for the big CapEx stuff, in preparation for the repairs and the maintenance, all that stuff, right? You should have in free cash flow $45 on average a month, which is $540 a year. Now, <clears throat> that's a cash on cash return of 1.5%. So at this point, you might be watching the video like, James, what the hell, dude? You totally missed the ball on what I wanted. I was down to spend 200 grand. I wanted B class. So you got me under 200 grand. Great check. Thank you. You got me in B class. Great check. Thank you. You got me solid tenants. Thank you. Uh, I'm out of Section 8, thank you. But, you know, I wanted to make 10% return on my money. You're showing me 1.5%, James. That's not cool. Don't worry, Roger. I got you covered. Now, if you remember, at the beginning of the show, I told you I thought they dropped the ball. I think they missed the ball. I do not think in any way they should be renting that four-bedroom, one-bathroom home for $800 a month. That don't make any sense. The two-bedroom... You know, 800 or 850, but 800 is fair. So let's just stick with 800 for that one. But this four bedroom, we should be renting that for at least a thousand dollars a month. That's a thousand dollars a month, no problem. Now, as far as uh, the leases, the tenants in this current property, both tenants are have like roughly like half their lease left, right? So they were like 12 month leases. So we we got both tenants in there for like six months or so. So. If you were to purchase this property, you can't just go in and just up that guy's rent from 800 to 1000 during the course of his lease. You have to allow the lease to to, you know, finish out. So you would keep them at the current lease rate at 800, but it's cool. You're going to make a little bit of money. You're going to have your principal paid on that whole time. But then at turnover or at lease expiration, what we want to do, we want to attempt to renew that tenant. We want to bump his rent up closer to that market rate, okay? So if we were able to get that tenant paying what they should be paying, which is $1,000 a month, that would take your cash flow from 245 or from 45 a month up to 245 a month, which is going to be 2,940 for the year, and that is a 7.8% cash on cash return. Okay, so now we're very very close uh, to your ultimate goal of getting 10%. Now, we can go even further. You can get that cash-on-cash cash numbers to be even higher if we negotiate a better purchase price. Now, I do think $150,000 is a fair price for this duplex. I mean, looking at the comps, you know, we got one, you know, similar condition. I would even argue that this one is a little bit nicer than that one. Uh, but I would also argue that that one is a, a, a slightly more desirable street. Uh, but this is still right on par with it. They're very close. Uh, that one sold for like 166, right? So price-wise, we're in the ballpark. And then we had just that beat to hell one that sold for 101 to a bunch of cash investors out there in a bidding war. So the price point is fair at 150, but I don't think we want to necessarily go in right at 150. I think we want to get the party started, get the conversation started, you know, come in in low 140s, like 140, 141, 142. So if you reran the numbers based on that, you're going to see some deviation in that cash on cash return. So more or less, we're in the ballpark of that 10%. You know, we're more or less as close as you can be. You don't want to get uh, like too hung up on a specific number that you you know you're missing the the forest through the trees right you don't want to be like I gotta hit ten percent and then you gotta 
you don't want to be like, I got to hit exactly 10% cash on cash return. And then you're starting to play with your numbers and you're moving stuff around on your spreadsheets and you're thinking you got to buy the property at exactly 142. And if you buy it at 144, it's no longer a good deal. Like $2,000 in the grand scheme of things here, that doesn't make any sense. You're going to have much larger variances throughout your course of ownership than like random stuff like that. Like I said earlier, man, this is a, it's a business with a lot of variables. It's a people business, unlimited amount of variables at all times. So like don't get too caught up in like 7.8% cash on cash versus 9.4% versus 10.1%. Because at the end of the day, depending on if this property was bought by you at 150000 or 146000 or 142000 you're going to get a different cash on cash return after running all these numbers but it's still the same property and more or less it's going to achieve the same type of performance for you uh, to, you know whether or not you purchased it at one of those three price points so what i think you should focus on is the bigger picture the higher quality property which we have here great neighborhood which we have solid tenant base you know and this is a larger mortgage right in the cleveland market one hundred fifty thousand dollars is the first point what's the mortgage here one hundred and twelve thousand dollars that's one hundred and twelve thousand dollars that those tenants are paying down for you i want to bring your attention to something real quick uh, if you go to holtonwise.com, right, and everyone can do this at home and you guys are trying to run your own numbers, you go to the Tools and Resource tab, you go to the Mortgage Calculator. This is a free tool we've got for you guys, right? So let's just punch in the numbers here. We got $112,500. That's our mortgage, right? So five seventy oh two a month. That's where I got that five seventy. Just so you know, I round on these charts. I, I don't deal with pennies. You know, if two cents matters, I don't think real estate's for you, you know? Like, you go all the way down to the end of this, right, towards the end of your mortgage payment. Like, this is a long-term game, guys. Like, all right, right here. These are the last payments, okay? Of your 570 on the last payment, 567.89 is all principal. 565.77 is principal. 563.66, 561.55, 559.45. These are the last payments on this mortgage. So... Whether you're getting like 45 bucks in free cash flow that month or 245 bucks in free cash flow that month or zero dollars in free cash flow that month, it's all kind of irrelevant when you look at the fact that you just borrowed $112,000 from the bank, made money throughout the entire course of paying off that loan, and those tenants paid off that loan for you. You get that $112,000 paid back by these tenants. Like the last month, if you cash flow 245, don't forget you still also cash flow this 567. If you cash flowed zero, if you broke even that month, you still made 567. This principal pay down is huge. And if you get yourself a nice high quality asset like this, your ownership experience is much easier. Not to mention, you can get the tenants to pay off bigger mortgages for you. Like when you guys are looking to build your portfolios, man. The biggest thing with the with with real estate investing, the best reason to buy it is not for the forty five or the two forty five a month in free cash flow. Okay, that's not really why you buy it. You buy it because you can quadruple your money, right? You can take fifty thousand dollars and buy a two hundred thousand dollar property and get tenants to pay off that one fifty for you. The principal pay down is the real reason you guys want to do this. This is the real reason you want to invest. That's how you're going to build up a ton of money when it's time to retire. So the only downside to that, though, is we can only get ten of these mortgages. We can only get ten residential mortgages. Okay, best financing in the world. 30-year terms, interest rate is low, interest rate is tax deductible, and the interest rate is fixed. You can't start any other business like that. But the gotcha, the one fallback to this is you can only do it 10 times. And I think you're crazy if the first time isn't for your own personal home. So that means you could really only do it nine times. So uh, with you, Roger, you want high-end stuff. So if I were you, I would look to you know do nine of the more high-end stuff, right? Why get nine fifty thousand dollar mortgages paid for uh, paid for you by your tenants when you can get nine hundred thousand dollar mortgages paid? Right, you could double the amount of money that they are paying off for you. So for all of those reasons, Roger, that is why I went out, I sought this property, and I thought this property would be the perfect fit for you. 
So if you'd like to move forward with making an offer on this property, you could do it two ways. You could contact that listing agent from Keller Williams directly, or if you want, I will happily represent you as your buyer's agent. You will get access to myself and my personal team of sales administrators and assistants. We will personally negotiate the best possible deal for you. Uh, we will coordinate all of your inspections, appraisals, uh, things of that nature. And then afterwards, it when it closes, Holton Wise, we can come in. We could take over that property management. Or if you wanted, you can go anywhere else for your property management needs. But I would imagine you probably want to come here to Holton Wise. And uh, for you, Roger, and anybody else who may not be aware uh, on exactly what we charge for our property management services, it's all transparent. So if you go to our FAC, click here for the Real Estate Investor Property Management FAC, and you're going to have access to all of that right here, guys. Not only do we give you questions and answers, we give you video answers. So anything you guys want to know about what we do as far as how we handle everything, it's all right there for you. We even put a downloadable link to our property management agreement. So you are going to see dollar for dollar every single thing we will charge you. I know a lot of people, you know, they think property managers are out there nickel and diming people. Our goal at Holton Wise is to be the most transparent real estate investment company possible. That's why we have the other shows. That's why we do the educational stuff. That's why we have things like Tenants from Hell. We're showing you the worst stuff that can happen to you, and that's why we have a fact. We're going to show you exactly what we're going to do for you in every situation, and on top of that, we're going to show you exactly what we are going to charge you because I don't want you to be surprised. It is a tough business, uh, but... When you work with a company like Holton Wise, okay, we know what we're doing. We're not going to guarantee you everything's going to go perfectly, but what we will guarantee is when something does happen, we are going to know how to handle it, and we are going to have the resources to handle it for you. So that's all I got for you today, Roger. For everybody else who's uh, watching Roger's uh, show today, do me a favor, hit the like button, okay? Share the video with a friend, perhaps leave a comment. If you think you got some value out of this, let us know. Let YouTube's algorithm know that you're seeing some serious value here on Holton Wise TV. And if you are a brand new viewer, if this is the first time you have tuned into Holton Wise TV, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management, We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third party home inspection, new HVAC with 10 year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states 
allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.